There are more details today of that dramatic armed robbery attempt, abduction and shooting, which all began outside a local web shop yesterday. Tonight we hear from eyewitnesses and an armored car company targeted by four suspects, including a police officer shot during a gunfire exchange. LaDawn Davis joins us now in studio with the dramatic story. Police continue to investigate as they search for three more suspects. LaDawn, tell us what... Kisula Candino, mm -hmm. we now know that the woman abducted supposedly to use her vehicle as a getaway car is safe and that a suspended police officer remains in hospital with a gunshot wound to the face. But tonight we hear from some of the people closest to the harrowing ordeal, a food store clerk who watched the whole thing unfold and the armored car operator whose employees lives were threatened. I was on my rental stop, so I didn't really was outside, but we heard like a lot of gunshots and everybody inside in our store just, just ran and we was like afraid. So we didn't went outside until after the gunshots and after the guys ran and the police came. That's Bunget Meat Mart cashier Anastasia Coakley giving her account of Sunday afternoon's broad daylight robbery attempt. On the first day back on the job since the incident, Coakley says she's still shaken. Well, I'm a little bit better now, but yesterday I was though out of it, but I'm good now. The armored truck targeted in Sunday's robbery belonged to ICS Security Concepts. In an exclusive interview, ICS Security founder and CEO Stephen Greenslade gave ZNS News guarded information about the robbery that erupted into a shootout. Bandits came up on my our team while they were executing a pickup and uh, opened fire on them. Uh, the team members took safety. Uh, in the vehicle and in turn returned fire on the bandits, uh, wounding uh, one or two of them. Greenslade maintains his team of security officers are well trained and prepared to protect their clients' assets. Our team had um, reacted based on the training they get. Uh, to uh, protect themselves, protect the uh, assets in the uh, incident. But we engage intense training of our staff on a regular basis. They go through tactical training. When asked if Sunday's operation at the island game was routine, here's Greenslade's response. Um, the pickups are not um, routinely scheduled. They are more or less scheduled uh, discretionably to again to um, ward off any possible attack um, in this line of business and uh, in any business operating where there's uh, transport of uh, monetary assets uh, people will want to uh, commit robberies and uh, other criminal active uh, offenses but um, what we do is we schedule our routes to prevent possible casing of the, uh, the team or people watching them, following them to determine their uh, schedule. So we vary the schedule from time to time to prevent that from happening. Now here's what we know about that suspended police officer. He was on the force for 13 years and was suspended based on a complaint to the corruptions unit. While that officer went into surgery yesterday, he is listed in serious condition in hospital tonight. Meantime, police officers say that once they, he is released from hospital, they will question him. Back to you.